Last week, we learned about float and sink. Can you remember the meaning of float and sink? No, you cannot? Don't worry, teacher Isa will refresh your mind about this lesson. So when we say float, it stays or moves easily over a surface of a liquid. Whereas sink, go down below the surface of a liquid. So when we say float, go over the surface of a liquid. And then sink, go down below the surface of the liquid. So that is the difference between float and sink. This morning, we are going to learn Unit 9. Unit 9 is all about agriculture and the ecosystem. Before we go farther, I have here six pictures. I would like you to look at the pictures and spell it with me. Do you understand? Very good. Let's see the six pictures. Picture number one, we have grass. Grass is G-R-A-S-S. -S. Can you repeat that? Very good. Number two, antelope. Okay, can we spell it all together? It's A-N-T-E-L-O-P-E. -E. Very good. How about picture number three? Yes, it's a lion. L-I-O-N. How about picture number four? Excellent, grasshopper. Can we spell it all together? G-R-A-S-S. H-O-P-P-E-R. Very good. And picture number five, what is that? Sparrow, correct. Let's spell it all together. S-P-A-R-R-O-W. And the last we have hawk. H-A-W-K. Can we read all these words one more time? Grass, antelope, lion, grasshopper, sparrow, hawk. Can you read that for me, please? Very good. Well done. As you might notice, I've mentioned that today we are going to learn Unit 9, which is about agriculture and the ecosystem. But today we are going to focus about food chain. What is food chain? Do you have idea what is the meaning of food chain? No idea? Okay, don't worry. We are here to learn. So when we say food chain, it shows how living thing gets its food. Some animals eat plants and some animals eat other animals. That is what we call food chain. Even as human beings, we eat animals, we eat plants. Some animals eat plants, some animals eat other animals. That is what we call food chain, how we get our food. Let me repeat, food chain shows how each living thing gets its food. Study this food chain concept. Can you look at the picture for me, please? Okay, we have carrots, rabbit, fox, and lion. Now, the rabbit, what does the rabbit eat? Very good. Carrots. How about the fox? Very good. The fox eat rabbit. Rabbit is an animal. Whereas carrots is a vegetable. And how about the lion? What does the lion eat? Correct. The lion eats other animal, which is the fox. So as you can see, this concept explain about food chain. The rabbit eats carrot, which is a plant. And of course, the fox eat rabbit. Rabbit is an animal. And the lion eat the fox. Okay. And fox is also an animal. Another example. Can you check these pictures? We have grass, antelope, and lion. Now, what does the antelope eat? Correct the grass. And how about the lion? What does the lion eat? Is it the grass or the antelope? Very good, the antelope. So if we're going to number this one accordingly, number one is grass, number two is antelope, 
and number three is the lion. So this is a good example how the food chain works. I hope you understand it. Please get your science workbook, open it on page 76. All right. Unit 9, Agriculture and the Ecosystem. Activity number 1, write 1, 2, 3 in the correct boxes to show the food chain. Okay, when you say food chain, it shows how animals get their food or all living things get their food. Okay, for example, antelope. Okay, where the antelope get its food? That would be from the grass. So this one is number 1. And of course, this is number 2. And the lion eat the antelope. So that would be number 3. Activity number 2. Write 1, 2, 3 in the correct boxes to show the food chain. These are the living animals or the living things, should I say. We have grasshopper, sparrow, and hawk. Okay, of course, number one is the grasshopper. And sparrow is number two. The hawk eat the sparrow. So that would be number three. When you're done page 76, proceed to page 77. Activity number three. Write one, two, three in the correct boxes to show the food chain. Again, we have grass, cow, and human. Of course, number one is the grass, and the cow eat the grass, but the human being eat the cow. So that is number three. Proceed to activity number four. Match the numbers one, two, three, four in the middle to the circles to show what happens in order. Okay, that would be in order. Write the numbers. So we have one, two, three, four. Example, number one here is the egg. Okay, so we have to write here number one. And then number two, when the egg hatches, it becomes a chick. And the chick grows, becomes a hen. Okay, so when it's big, it becomes what? Food that we eat. So that would be roasted chicken. When you're done page 77, proceed to page 78, activity number 5. Match the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 in the middle to the circle to show what happens in order. Write the numbers in the middle, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? And then we have to write the numbers in the circle, same as what we did in activity number 4. Now, the first one is that the farmer plant rice. So planting rice is number 1. After that, the rice grows. And it becomes the rice farm that would be number two and then ready to harvest and it becomes row rice and what we do with the rose rice we cook and it turns to a bowl of cooked rice so this is number four when you're done page 78 go to page 79 you have to do exactly the same activity number six match the numbers one two three four in the middle to the circle to show what happens in order write the numbers one two three four write the numbers the first one okay this is the rabbit what does the rabbit eat the grass so that is number one number two is the rabbit and what happened to the rabbit of course the hunter or the dog hunts the rabbit okay so that would be number three after hunting we eat the rabbit so that's roasted rabbit meat so that's number four when you're done page 79 let's proceed to the last page 80. Match the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 in the middle to the circle to show what happens in order. Write the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4. Which one comes first? Of course, the hay. And the hay, after that, lump it haze. And then the people get the wool. That's number 3. And then we wear the jumper or the woolen jumper. So that's number 4. We've come to the end of our discussion and I would like to say thank you so much for listening and for trying your best to understand our lesson. Even though Teacher Isa is not near you or beside you, your parents help you to understand this. And I would like to say thank you as well to all the parents. Once again, this is Teacher Isa. I hope that I will be able to see you on site. Thank you and have a good day. Sawadee Bye.